Hello. Um, this video, I'm going to talk about how my twin sister has more rights than I do. I was going to do a blog topic, and I've been ha having this topic in mind for um, probably almost a year. So, um, even when we were in foster care, the foster mom favored her over me. But it wasn't always like that. In the beginning, she hated all of us, the foster mom. And then by the time I was 11 years old, in sixth grade, she considered me the favorite. And then by the time of ninth grade, um, an incident happened in which I did the video um, yesterday, I think it was, <clears throat> talking about how I became a targeted individual and became, you know, started ending up having to be gang stalked. Excuse me. So um, once I became targeted when I was in ninth grade back in 1997, um, so I, it's like I was the favorite for maybe about almost three years. And so then when that happened, um, I became targeted. And so um, that's when my twin sister and the, and the foster sister, they became the favorite. So then um, the, my twin sister is an abusive, narcissistic, gang-stalking bully. And um, nobody wants to, like, no. everybody defends and agrees with and believes the narcissist over the actual victim, the empath, the scapegoat, black sheep, whatever. So then, um, you know, my twin sister, she picked up where the foster mom left with the abuse. And there are people who try to say with the gang stalking that my twin sister is one of my main handlers, but she thinks she runs me. No, she don't control me. But she's an abusive, narcissistic, gang stalking bully. And she herself thinks, I, I was born 13 minutes before her, and she thinks that she got the authority to control and make rules for me, control my life and make rules for me. And um, she is like militantly determined to be my, be my top enemy. So um, if she can't control how we, you know, if she can't control, have control, then she's going to make sure that we're not getting along. When we get into an argument, I have to wait until she's ready to decide to talk, start talking or whatever, but, um, and, and she'll try to hold long grudges against me. So it's like my twin sister herself, what society allows her to do they don't allow me to do. And then, um, well, if society allow her to do it, but they won't allow me to do it. But then at the same time, she herself thinks that she has authority to, re I mean, to, um, place restrictions on my life. We're 39, about to be 40 next month and a month and 10 days to be exact, August 25th. So if my twin sister's allowed to get married, have kids, have friendships, have relationships, have supportive family, and um, allowed to have money and a car, and if it weren't for the military benefits, they would let her have a job. They wouldn't workplace mob her off the job. So all my rights are stripped from me. Oh, I, yeah, so she's allowed to have a car and drive, Nobody controls her, really. People don't really try to control her or tell her what to do. She's allowed to have support and friends and flying monkeys. But, you know, but if I, I'm not even allowed to have not one supporter, not one person to defend or agree with me telling the truth and showing the truth. So fake TI perps and regular perps, they go and flock to my twin sister and be fake loyal to her 
And then they lie and she lies also saying that she's the true targeted individual or the true chosen one and that I'm the devil and that I'm the one that's gang stalking her. So my twin sister has been spreading lies, false rumors or smear campaigns about me for decades. And then thinks that the malicious life-threatening rumors, she thinks that's funny. And so, um, I can't even, if I look up gang stalking hashtag on YouTube, her smear campaign videos about me come up more than my own videos showing my gang stalking experiences. It's like even people that's supposed to be part of the TI community have been bewitched and deceived by her lies. And so my twin sister is also militantly determined to make sure I have no friends. So if my twin sister can be more overweight than me, if she posts videos about food, um, her flying monkey cult followers or cheerleaders, they would give her praise and support. But if I post up videos about food or even talk about food, I get called greedy and get bullied and harassed and be the online strangers who are gang stalkers think they got the authority to um try to count my calories or count how much how many calories they think I'm eating and um you know they think that they can control what subjects I talk about and when I talk to my twin sister over the phone she think that she can control what subjects I'm allowed that she wants to allow me to talk about. But she can be free free to support anybody else talking about the same topics. But because it's me, she has an issue with it. So the foster mom, she stu- it's like my twin sister studied how the foster mom treated me, and then started treating me with treating me with, with the same vicious cutthroat abuse. N- no mercy at all. No no mercy at all. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So, so many people who claim that they were targeted individuals who backstabbed and betrayed me and started acting like perps. In the beginning, they were saying that my twin sister is part of the Order of the Eastern Star. So, um, you know, if my twin sister is allowed to have social relationships or friendships and be popular and well-liked, and and then people act like as if they want to sick my twin sister on me like a dog. And act like as if they're trying to encourage her to keep me in line or keep me under control. And they would use that fake mental health and calling me schizophrenic. As I said, you're not going to be a real targeted individual and call another T.I. schizophrenic or crazy or say that I need medication. Or even act like you hate me. Or tell and encourage everybody, don't talk to Candy. Stay away from Candy. So my twin sister is allowed to put up fundraisers. She's allowed to have money. And she told me, she said, you see that GoFundMe that you got up there? You might want to leave it up there for your burial. And nobody said she was wrong for that. On her YouTube profile, she said, nope, people don't care um, if you're telling the truth. Most people just don't like you. Yeah, because you put lies in their head to manipulate them to hate me and not like me. So, um, you know, she's allowed to get support. But I'm supposed to be, be forced to just suffer in isolation. If she were to die, she would get a whole bunch of praise like and get treated like a celebrity at her funeral. But if I were to die, I'd be lucky if, I mean, the family hate me so much. I mean, they probably wouldn't even, they might make it like as if I deserve to be punished with no funeral. Or if I do that, nobody would go to my funeral if I die. But they go out, society go out of their way to idolize, worship, and care about my twin sister so much 
and then they falsely they choose favoritism on purpose and then falsely accuse me of being jealous when y'all need to wake up to the truth i'm speaking the truth 